Tonight we're installing the air motor fuel pump. That's the first part I've ever put on the car that just went on, you know what I'm saying? There's yep. always something that goes on, or you ever re machine something, or. Those hombres know what they're doing, that's for sure. See, I think I'm gonna run the, the trend lines right here, weld the bums right there. So if I get like a tube on here, I could angle them like that. So when it's returning, it'll be pushing right back into the pump. Because that's my idea anyway. I don't know if it's going to make a difference, but it should. I mean, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't, you know. Okay, we're finishing up the installation of the new air motor pump. Um, Right now, I just made this, you know, manifold type deal, the return inlets uh, or the return outlets. Uh, what I did is I actually angled them uh, instead of going straight in, you know, cause turbulence in the fuel. I angled them that way; it'll go with the flow of the, the fuel. So hopefully, it works a little better. We'll make it work, whether there's a will, there's a way, right? With the air motor uh, fuel pump, you don't necessarily have to do it this way. You could just run the the return lines back to the tank like a normal, you know, normal mechanical injection system, but this is something I wanted to try. I've been wanting to try it for a long time, so this is a kind of the perfect opportunity to do it. So um, I'm pretty sure, pretty confident it's going to work pretty good. So we'll see you on Saturday. Right here I just made a bracket for my fuel shutoff cable. Um, I'm kind of adapting and adapting my old bracket onto the, the new pump. Um, as you can see we had to make a little cutout to keep the aeromotive symbol I was showing. Um, but I think it came out pretty nice, hopefully it'll work right. And I think that's just about it. I think we're ready to race now. Can't make noise after 10. Oh shit. Seriously? Yeah, that's a lot. I always, last time we fired it up, it was 1 o'clock in the morning. With all the flames and shit, uh -huh. it was 1 o'clock in the morning. Right, but it's still a law. So? We're outlaws. the first pass with the new aeromotive fuel pump. I can't even describe on how happy I am with it. You know, down to even uh, slowing the car down on the return road, my other pumps would die, you know, it'd lean out and die, but uh, this pump, man, I could actually drive off the track because it, you know, kept its prime. But uh, I think it was a pretty decent pass. The track's pretty, pretty darn slippery, so I, I hung in there as long as I could. It made a real big move to the, uh, to the center line, so I let off. 
Other than that, man, I'm super, super happy with a great product. This pump uh, supports either 5,000 horsepower on gas or 2,500 horsepower on uh, alcohol, so I really, I highly suggest it. The part number on this uh, particular pump is uh, number 11117.